Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. Well, today is Monday, the 5th of February, 2024, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. My name is Ava, and this is Stitching in the Interlake, and you picked a wonderful channel to watch. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm kind of boasting, right? So, anyway, if you're wondering where my name came from, uh, the Interlake is a region in Manitoba, that, in Canada, which is north of Winnipeg, which is the capital of Manitoba. And it's between the two lakes, hence the name Interlake. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's it. And what you see is what you... <laughs> when you get uh i'm i'm goofy and i can be serious and i can be um i can be heartfelt and crying and and joyous and everything just right across the board <laughs> so welcome to my channel <clears throat> and if you're just new here thank you so very much Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post a video. So, yesterday I did my live, and it turned out pretty good. Uh, we were up to 22 people. And, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, well, gee, that's not very many. I think it's, I think it's great. I think it's great. You know, it's not too overwhelming and it's everybody felt comfortable. And <clears throat> so it was wonderful. I really enjoyed yesterday's live. And I do a live uh, three Sundays out of the month. The fourth Sunday, I don't because Father Paul is here for Mass and mass is between 12 and 1. So <clears throat> it just becomes too late. By the time I get here and time I settle down and all of that, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, okay, what am I stitching on? Well, I'm continuing to stitch on my fantasy teacup and as you can see this is i don't that's not the no this isn't the um handle i'm right over here okay so this is just like a vine or something you know just growing so <clears throat> So yesterday on the, on, on the live, I was bombarded and um, bullied. <laughs> and all that kind of stuff, browbeaten. Everybody was knocking me down left, right, and center to find out what's coming up in March. <laughs> So I said, do you want me to tell you? Well, yeah, it would be good because then we'd have more time to get something, right? So from now on, it will be on the first of every month that I will tell you what's coming up for the month following. Okay. So um, I have revealed already what is coming up. Uh, in March so that you can prepare <clears throat> and the theme for March is oops I got to make sure I get this right it's not easy being green and <laughs> I thought it was cool okay because okay we all know that March is St. Patty's Day and Irish and all that kind of thing, right? So I was thinking that, well, 
not everybody knows or understands what it's like to, you know, for St. Patty's Day and, and all of that. So I decided to kind of go down the, the center line and just work on something that has green in it. Okay. So if you can see here, this has green in it right there. So this would qualify like up here in the trees. Um, if I haven't finished my um, Firebird, I can work on this because this is green, right? And yes, I worked over here on the Firebird, but I made kind of a boo-boo. So yeah, I got to figure that out. So, <clears throat> or what it can be, is I have, I, I like to work on this Mother Teresa. So I'd like to work on that. And on this, as you can see here, there's a lot of green in here. Now, it's probably not green, I don't know what, what's in here. Is there, in, well, there is kind of a green. It's a very dull green. Like, that's a dull green. And um, this is, so, like, colors like um, 645, 646, 647, or kind of, I have uh, 372 in here. I have 371, 370. So, it's just for what, what you have that is green. <laughs> now, that should be something that everybody can get, right? Because it's, um, it's an easy color to, I would say nearly every kit has got green in it, okay? And even if the threads are not green, just look here for, see, like that's green? So then you can work on those, even if they're not, you know, even if the color is not green, like the thread color. Yeah. So, and if you're looking for something, I do have um, Celtic knots. I have lots of designs, and I may just go and post some, that you can do in green. You know, it's uh, whatever you choose. Whatever it is that you choose. So, I'm eager to see what you all pick out. And that is for starting on the 1st of March. Now, I could just keep going on this if I wanted to. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. <clears throat> um, I was kind of looking through all my... Um, Counted charts, my PDFs and that. And I know I've got so many, so many. But <clears throat> I don't know how it got into my head. But I was thinking of, there were in, I can't remember if it was Cross Stitch Collection or Cross Stitch Gold. And this goes back way back, I, I would say 30 years ago. <clears throat> they came out with, it was a big, long one. There, there was a series of them, and they're all historical. <clears throat> and this one was Victorian Christmas or something. 
and it came out in pieces. And then a few years later, they brought it out in a booklet form. It was a freebie. And um, I was so pleased that I had, at the time, I had, um, I'm going back quite a few years. I came across it and I haven't been able to come across it again because I've moved three times since then, I guess. Uh, but I had scanned it in. <clears throat> So I was able to find it in my some of my old files. And because I can't work on paper patterns, I, I just, I can't, my eyes go wonky with them. So I am going to, I'm going to see about starting that one. And it's 76 centimeters wide by... 25 high so it's not very high and it was um there were a couple of people I had seen stitching it this is going back a few years and I said yeah I, you know what I gotta start that I gotta start that I gotta start that and I didn't but then it was I don't know if it was Kim Hollenbach and Stitching with Jewels. Oh, there's probably lots of others that have done it. And I really fell in love with it again because it's so Victorian in nature. I wish they would have done one um, Tudor Times or something. They have one, it's called, um, it's called uh, what is it? Waiting at the train station. I probably got that name wrong. And then there's the one where it's Cotswold, which I guess is a very famous location in England. Um, I don't think I have those. And they came in three sections. Okay. <clears throat> I think it was three. It could have been four. But I think it was three sections. <clears throat> and I'm just kind of thinking, you know, do I want to work on that one? Gosh, I hear so many calling my name. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> so, do you think MPI is going to call me? Any guesses? Yeah. You know what I think. I don't know what else to do. I think I might just contact. I may go higher up in MPI and contact somebody there. And um, I don't know, customers, no, not customer service, but, you know, somebody. This is ridiculous. How, ca how can so many messages be left and nobody contacts me? It's been four months since I started calling. <clears throat> and nothing. And they keep telling you, uh, please wait two to five business days or one to two business days or um, there were some even that were um, seven to ten business days 
And I gave them that. I gave them extra. Nothing. This is just, it's ridiculous. They should have one person, just one person who is taking the phone calls, even if it's just the messages, and marking everything down. <clears throat> and maybe pass it on to one, uh, one person who books the appointment. It's just... I don't know. I don't get it. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm waiting to do my road test for cognitive, cognitive abilities or something. And this started almost a, a year ago. It'll be a year on the 10th of March. Well, actually, it started about a year and a half ago. And then I had this loser of a of a doctor. I don't even know if you'd call her that over here. Yeah. I was not happy. I was not happy. Not at all. So... <clears throat> but yeah so and all it is is a road test not first driving abilities like as in um, understanding what a stop sign is what a yield sign is what a speed limit sign is is if you are cognitive about what's going on around you you know like there, uh, if I'm in a school zone, do I drop down to 30? You know, if there's a school bus, do I stop when the lights are flashing? If there is uh, an ambulance, say, or a police car or fire or whatever, lights flashing in that, what do I do? Right? It's that type of thing. It's not about, oh, you know, this is a railroad crossing or, um, you know, like he may try to take me up a one-way street going the wrong way. And, you know, do I... Um, Am I aware enough that I don't go up that, right? If he tries to distract me, he or she, I'm just using he. Um, if they try to distract me, um, you know, am I going to be distracted when he tries to say, look over here, look over there, look at that, you know? No, it's that kind of thing. They said it only takes a half an hour, 45 minutes at the most. So I'm just trying to get my driver's license back. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah, the live went well. It was good. People were jumping in and out and everything. It was really nice. And I do appreciate everybody who stopped in. And especially everyone who commented. So I'm not carrying the conversation by myself. <laughs> so today it's supposed to get up to five degrees here. It is foggy low-hanging clouds, um, that kind of thing. 
So, and then we're supposed to start cooling off. And so we'll see what the week brings, right? Oh, yesterday I had mentioned this show that I was watching on Netflix. And it's really good. I really like it. Not everybody will, okay? Because it's a foreign language film. Excuse me. And it um, it's taking place on Iceland. So they're speaking Icelandic. They do have some... Some sections where they do speak English. And it's a murder mystery. And the reason why it's called Trapped, which is the show Trapped, it's because they are on the island, but they can't leave the fishing village because it's um, there's a huge blizzard coming in. And they can't, you know, flights are canceled and you can't drive and all that. So they're trying to find this murderer, whoever it is. But there are some, not red herrings, but I, I yeah, I would guess so. I've only watched the first episode. And so I think it is that they're trying to divert you away from, you know, it's like a sleight of hand. So if you are interested in that, it's on Netflix. It is at least here in Canada. And um, the subtitles are good. And if you can read the subtitles... And, um, and that, uh, I would, I recommend it highly. I, so far I give it five out of five stars. But if you can't read that fast, it's going to be hard. It's not dubbed in English though. Because if it was dubbed in English, it would be much easier, right? But I have a habit of reading lips. <clears throat> that I don't read lips very well. Not, not very well at all. But I do practice. I will have, I'll mute something on the TV and I'll watch the lips move. And try and read lips. I can hear but it's just something I'm interested in. I would have loved to have learned sign language. I think that would have been neat. I was always fascinated in that. But I am fascinated in uh, with languages and obscure languages and, you know, ancient languages. But... Never studied it. Nothing. I just find it interesting. You know? So. But like I said, if you're, if you're interested and you like that kind of thing, please check out Trap. Hopefully it's available where you are. and there's like a ferry and it's a huge ferry and it's um, it's from uh, Denmark and it's stuck in port now and they've let all the people go and there's something going on with the captain and that's all I will tell you. So, like I said, there's red herrings in there. But there's just something about 
um, you know, TV programs or movies that are made overseas. There's just something different about them. They're much better quality and much more interesting. And I had watched uh, a couple of movies and they were from, I don't know if it was Norway or Sweden. I think it was Norway and they were good um can't remember what the one was I think called the wave and another one not sure oh gosh I don't know what it was but they were same people in in the movies just carrying on you know and those were really well made. Disaster movies. And um, so, but I haven't seen them on there. I think that now they have them dubbed in English. But again, when I read lips <laughs> and it doesn't line up, I find that aggravating. So anyways, if you're just new here, thank you again. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, help my channel to grow, click the notification bell. Also, um, that I have a dedicated Facebook group, which is Stitching in the Interlake, and all you need to do is give me the name of one of my two sidekicks and I give their names every video just goes to show who's paying attention and um yeah and then uh and then I will let you in you know but I have to vet you first though to make sure you are who you say you are <clears throat> and um then um, I have a dedicated email address, which is stitchinginthinterlake at gmail.com. Yes, yes, yes. So every month I have a challenge. And um, this month is Fantasy Fairy Tale February. And like I said, next month, the theme is it's not easy being green. And I'm sure everybody's got something that has green in it. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> yeah, and with springtime fast approaching, and I can't wait. And I mean, we do have um, green grass out. Well, yeah, I would say it's green grass. Because our winter has been exceptionally warm. Normally, we are up to our hips in snow. And it's ice cold. And, you know, snowmobilers are going up and down. And, um, yeah, blizzard and all that. Thankfully. Thank you, Jesus that we didn't have that this year, and I hope we never have it. Because I don't care for winter. So, my son sent a picture of them sitting on their uh, deck there in um, at the RV park in Arizona. And the beautiful sunshine. And <clears throat> they were out there in shorts. And oh, yeah. I say bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. You know, for those of you who live in the South. And you start saying it's cold down there. Oh, we're so chilly. We're 
and it's like 10 degrees. <laughs> and uh, I'm going, cold? Cold? <laughs> That's not cold. Try minus 40. That's cold. So, um, yeah, you guys have no idea what it's like, you know, to be up here when it's just, yeah, it's not, <laughs> don't care for it. Oh, these trucks that go past here really fast. Hmm. I'm just going to finish up this little bit of stitching. And I've got dishes to do. And this morning, Jonah was out. Lily Bell slept until I woke her up at 6 o'clock. But who couldn't sleep? Moi. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. I was up and down, up and down all night. But I think I had some breakthrough nightmares, that's why. So. Yes. <clears throat> so I hope you start getting your, deciding on what you're going to stitch on for It's Not Easy Being Green for March. I haven't quite decided yet about April yet, but I will give you that on the 1st of March. So we're going to start doing it that way. Because I guess some people, like if they don't have anything, they need more time to find something and to order something. So that's fine. I, I can understand that. I was wondering about that myself. You know, if it was too short of a time but nobody said anything, so I just kept going. So. I watched Jen the Caffeinated Stitcher this morning, and I watched Becky's Crafting Madness, I think is what it's called. Yeah. They're both good. I I would, if I didn't get it right, I'll put it down below. Right. So. Oh, gosh. Yeah. One stitch left. Okay. I'm liking how this is. So I may carry this on into March. I have to see. See, that's the thing. Some of your, you know, stitching can do double duty, right? And I know everybody's got a project going that has green in it, whatever type of green it is, right? Okay, so... That's where I'm at. So I've done there and here. This is 939. It's all this blue here. So I don't know where I'm going to go. Down here maybe. or Well, I got a few stitches here to finish or wherever it is. So I got to do that. And <clears throat> yeah, and then I will see what happens. So, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. So does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bell. She's down here. She's just asleep, and sorry, I don't want to make any of you dizzy. There she is. There's that beautiful girl. She's there sleeping. And Jonah is up in the cat condo. So, 
he was kind of mad at me this morning because I left him outside all night. But I wasn't going to put up with his nonsense last night. <laughs> Didn't matter anyways. <laughs> so, um, anyway. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. All right, everybody, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Toodle-oodles, everybody.